Hello, this is Tony Heller from Visitech.ai. In this video, we're going to take a look at some commonly held beliefs about extreme weather. Later in this video, I'm going to be using my website app.visitech.ai to show how easy it is to generate statistics about extreme weather. There have been a number of deadly flash floods in the U.S. over the last week. Yesterday, there was one at Ruidoso, New Mexico. A lot of people are trying to blame it on government weather modification. Other people are trying to blame the floods in Ruidoso on the burning of fossil fuels. So let's take a look at what's actually going on at Ruidoso. Ruidoso is located near Sierra Blanca, New Mexico, a tall mountain with skiing. When it rains up here, water runs down this drainage right through the middle of Ruidoso. During June 2024, there were a couple of large fires between Sierra Blanca and Ruidoso. With the vegetation gone in these areas, rainfall now runs off of it like it would from a parking lot. Every July and August in New Mexico, monsoon moisture comes up from the south and causes heavy summer afternoon thunderstorms. Let's go back in time to July 1976, west of Loveland, Colorado. On July 31st, 1976, 14 inches of rain fell overnight near Estes Park. This led to one of the deadliest flash floods in U.S. history on the Big Thompson River. But a few months later, Colorado was having a terrible drought. President Ford went to Vail to ski at Christmas, but there wasn't any snow. By March 1977, California Governor Brown said the state was facing a drought disaster. More than a third of the United States was in drought by April 1977. I was working as a geologist student intern at Los Alamos Labs during the summer of 1977. I stepped outside for lunch on June 16, 1977 and saw this huge fire which had just started up a few miles to the west. Over the next week, the fire burned up much of Bandelier National Monument. I used to frequently go to Bandelier for lunch, order green chili cheeseburgers, and sit on a bridge at this location. I had lunch there on July 5, 1977. I went back there again that evening with my girlfriend, and the bridge was gone. It had been washed away by a flash flood. There were many floods that summer caused by a combination of the monsoon rains and the June fire. Now we're going to use my website app.visitech.ai to see what's really going on with extreme weather. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has for a long time kept very detailed records of extreme weather events in the United States. Unfortunately, this year's data has not been updated since February, so instead we're going to take a look at the data from 2024. This is the file which I just downloaded from NOAA. I'm going to drag it over here into the Visitech window. Now we have a map of the 70,196 extreme weather events reported in the United States during 2024. We're going to click on this tab here, Table. Now we can see all the different types of information which NOAA keeps in their database of extreme weather events. As you can see, it's quite detailed. I want to take a look at floods and flash floods, so I'm going to click on them. Now I'm going to hit the Send button to start my query. We can see what came up. There were 7,238 floods in the United States during the year 2024. That works out to almost one every hour. Let's take a look at floods in North Carolina. First, I'm going to click on Flood and Flash Flood. Then I'm going to click on North Carolina and hit the Send button to start my query. There were 438 floods reported in North Carolina during the year 2024, which is more than one per day. As you can see, there were a lot of floods reported around Asheville, North Carolina last year. I'm going to double-click on this one to bring up the details about the flood. 
They have a long description of the flooding caused by tropical cyclone Helene. And we can use Google Street View to see the terrain where the flooding occurred. Using Visitech.ai, you can get all the details about every extreme weather event reported in the United States every year. You don't need to rely on the news. You can actually get all the information for yourself. Let's take a look at all the funnel clouds and tornadoes in the United States during 2024. There were 2,422 tornadoes in the United States last year, and as you can see, the vast majority of them were east of the Rocky Mountains. Let's take a look at all the tornadoes in Virginia. There were 14 tornadoes reported in Virginia last year. Let's take a look at this one. Now let's read about the details of that tornado by double clicking on it. You can see that the tornado was spawned by Tropical Cyclone Debbie. Now we're going to generate some statistics about extreme weather in the United States. For each event type, count the number of lines. Rank series. The most common extreme weather events in the United States during 2014 were thunderstorms and winds, followed by hail, followed by flash floods. For each state, list the number of tornadoes. Rank series. During 2024, Oklahoma had the most tornadoes, followed by Illinois and Iowa. For each month name, count the number of tornadoes. May had the most tornadoes, followed by April and July. For each month name, count the number of floods. January had the most floods, followed by June and April. Let's take a look at all the floods which occurred during January. As you can see, most of the floods occurred along the west coast in the northeastern United States and along the Mississippi River. In this video, I've just scratched the surface of the types of information you can get from this app. Using Visitech.ai, you can get all the details of every extreme weather event in the United States in just a matter of a few seconds. But I'm a history buff, so let's go back in time to this week 80 years ago. The first atomic bomb explosion occurred on July 16, 1945, about 30 miles west of Ruidoso, New Mexico. This photograph was taken about a tenth of a second after detonation. Barbara Kent and her friends were swimming at Ruidoso on that date in 1945. They reported seeing snow falling from the sky. All of them got cancer and 10 of the 12 died before they reached age 40. This is Robert Oppenheimer and General Groves at the test site after the explosion. Oppenheimer died of cancer 22 years later. John Wayne died of cancer after filming a movie near that location. Sometimes extreme weather is caused by humans, but the floods at Rio Doso this week were caused by natural phenomena. You don't need to rely on propaganda to learn about extreme weather. You can get all the details if you subscribe to app.visitech.ai.